we're full-time RVers officially. We have, well, we bought some land. And a lot of people are asking us in the channel now, they're like, should we own land or should we just get land? The RV parks are very busy right now. They're full. It's are packed. It's like, you guys ever go to see find an RV park, it's 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 mobbed. And we're not talking just small RVs, we're talking humongos like ours. They're getting so... bigger, guys. Getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Not trying to talk you out of full-time RVing. We want you to full-time RV, right? We learned from RVing that it was important for us to have our own place to call home. Why? If you get sick. I got sick. You guys know I got all sick. I'm still recouping. I still run out of breath, but I'm doing a lot better. And you know, some people are okay with the go, 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 go. Right. For us, we weren't. We didn't care for the slamming of the doors in RV parks and everything. We'd rather boondock when we go out. Where we'd rather set up the boondock. It just makes more sense to us. us we don't hear the slamming doors. We have to check in. <coughs> um, it, it just, it's, it's, it's just, it's bad. And for us, when we go out, we like to relax. We don't like to have all this craziness going on around us. Right, exactly. It's like crazy. It's like sometimes they say, do you ever hear that? You gotta have a vacation from your vacation. Well, that's what we feel like sometimes. <laughs> we get out like, we gotta go back on vacation. We just came from vacation. Now, get back to us when I was sick. Um, I'm still sick, but I'm I'm getting better. And thank God it wasn't long term. Because it was long term, how would she have driven a truck if we were in an RV park to go to another park? No well, way. well, wait a minute. The time's up and someone needs your spot and you're RVing from park to park and you have to move. You couldn't even... I couldn't even have moved the big truck. Yeah, and no how way. is your wife going to shift? I mean, drive... A, I mean, a lot of them do drive the big Class A's, but what if, what if she doesn't feel comfortable driving a big Class now, A? Now, if it was Harvey... I wouldn't have had an issue. I could have moved Harvey and been fine, right. and we could have kept on going and going and going. Yeah, so you, your wife could still drive your rig, but what about repairing? What about empty black tank problems, stuff like that? You know what? When I when we first started RVing, I was like, I will not touch that black tank. That is gross. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's a lever. You put your gloves on, and you're done. It's not right. a big deal. Exactly. Um, a we couple have, of we, times when he wasn't yeah. feeling good or he was out and about doing other stuff, yeah. I had to pull the tanks because I either had to take a shower, I had to wash the dishes, um, I was cleaning the house or something, you know. So I couldn't rely on him for everything when it comes to RVing. And, and that's she, the other thing. You have to be yeah. a team when it comes to this type of a lifestyle. And she's my GPS, too. Yeah, so he, if I lose her, <laughs> something goes on, I have no GPS. Even though the one in the dash doesn't work for me. We have GPS. He still gets lost with GPS. He could get lost in his own backyard. I'm having trouble breathing right here. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a medicine. Let me ask you a question. We had stuff in storage, right? We had a bunch of stuff in storage. And did stuff go up since we, like, did stuff appreciate, I mean, uh, did inflation go up since we had the stuff in storage? Of course it I looked at the math and I added everything up in storage. Not everything, but you know, the big stuff. It would have cost us more to rebuy the stuff than it cost us to store the stuff. It, does that make any sense to you guys? Well, when we started full-timing, um, we were selling our house. And there's a lot of people that are selling their house in hopes of going full-timing. And I hope that everything is good with right. them. Right. But what you need to understand is they're selling everything. Right. You're getting rid of everything. And you need to... We recommend... A cutting down but not get rid of everything i believe that you should cut down because they're in any given year you start going through all your stuff and you have a yard sale that's what we used to do yeah. every year we had a yard sale there is so much junk that people have that we had that we, we had. didn't even realize we had we got rid of a lot of stuff even getting our stuff from storage we had a lot of junk that was stored that we didn't need we had so many boxes that were full of Silly things that we didn't have, that we shouldn't have had. So the main point is, get rid of your stuff, but don't get rid of all the expensive stuff they have to rebuy in case you decide not to full time. Just in be a careful. Year. And number two, there are a few that are, you know, they want to sell their houses. And I think that if you have RV'd before and you know that this is the lifestyle that you want to do, and you know you don't really worry about the house when you're gone and things like that, I think that's fine. But honestly, I think that you should just rent your house out and try it for a couple of months. See yeah. how you like it. You know, and you don't have to leave your furniture in there. Put it in storage and come back to it in, you know, six or seven months and see if it's something that you want to do. Exactly. Don't just get rid of everything and then in the end, you, you, you might feel like you're lost and you don't have a place to go back to. That's why we chose to do this. For instance, there's a lot of people around here in this town. Um... And I've been going around a lot of houses and meeting a lot of people, and I'm looking at stuff like they have a tractor there, or they have a big lawnmower, or a big tractor, or something, anything, right? Or let's say they have um, a house. Now I asked him, I said, wow, how much you pay for that tractor? 
in the prices, it's like, well, I bought that in the 80s. It still runs perfect, and it like, looks like brand new. And they paid like 5000 bucks. The same tractor's worth like $50,000, $45,000. It's like, well, now when you're RVing, you can't keep stuff and store stuff and take care of it and then use it. Inflation, now, keep in mind, we think inflation's going to go through the roof. And we're getting prepared for that. Well, so, it's not really that we. It's like a doomsday thing. It's not. It's not. We're not. We're not saying it's that. It's just something that we've seen and something that we you, are in, conscious about. In two to three years, we've seen inflation go up a lot. Go to Walmart and try to buy groceries three years ago. Go to Walmart and try to buy groceries now. And I know our parents have seen the same things that we're seeing. But um, it was a big jump, really quick. You know, a gallon of milk used to be a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. Now it's almost four dollars for a gallon of milk. Yeah. And that was recently, like the last six years. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, things are, are changing, and that's why we feel it's important to have a place for you to go back to. Keep a little bit of a nest egg, some kind of something. That's why you see a little, we bought it, for, if you're new to our channel right now, we've got a um, land. We're putting a house on our land eventually. We're going to put a house on there. They're just asking a ton of money right Way now. So we're, we're going to wait a little bit, put a house on there, but we are going to put a house on the land. But we set it up for a house. We got our septic tank in. We're doing things slowly. We got a little building here. We put our stuff in. Sorry, the camera shut off, guys. But we enclosed it ourselves, the building. You know, we did it ourselves. We did it slowly, and we did it right. The other thing is, some people are like, well, "Why are you doing everything yourself? Just pay somebody. It's easier." And yeah, every time we pay someone, easier. it's like three grand just to do just to walk in the door. It is easier, but for us, saving the money. We didn't want a big loan. No, and number two, we like to do DIY stuff, yeah. and it gives us a chance to work together doing a project. There's so many times that I do something, and the next thing you know it, or I pay someone to do it, and it's like not done right, and they'll sit there and argue with you, and it's like, well, listen, I want it done right, because I'm going to be living here for a long time. This is my last home. This is my last place, or last place. We so, also tend to be quite picky, too, so... We're a little p on the picky side, too. Yeah, I admit that, but you know, you I, you got to do it right the first time, right? We, we just don't want to be life. like, sign the paper, sign the dotted line, and... Now you're in a mortgage for $325,000 for the rest of your life, and if you don't pay it, they take your land, they take your RV, they take your little building here, they take everything. It's like, no, I'm yeah. sorry, that's not going to happen. Yeah, sorry, guys, if you guys so are bankers, I apologize, but you're not going to get the interest from us. We're off, we're off key a little bit, but, you know, this is just our thoughts. I mean, we just think that still RV, still go have fun, but keep a little backup plan. Okay, something ever goes down. That's something that we learned. Before we sold our house, we went out and we were in Harvey for an RV. Six months, three or yeah. four months. Yeah. We were out and um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to have a little vacation away from right. the house, but it was also nice to know that you had that house. Right. Even though we knew we were selling it, it was up for sale. We were having showings. It was still nice to have it. It was still nice to know that it was there. So once we sold it and that was gone and all of our stuff was in storage, that was a little scary. It was really, really scary for me, and I was like, okay, well, none of our stuff is here, and I know people say, it's just stuff, it's no big deal. It's just stuff, you're not going to take it with you, we realize that, but you can use it while you're here. Ross and I are very, like I said, DIY, we are very busy kind of people, we're doing all kinds of stuff, I paint, I crochet, I quilt, I do all kinds of stuff, and he is always doing stuff around the property or the house or he's a pitterer. He does a little bit here, let's do a over pitter? here, let's do over here. A he's piddler. like a tinker. A tinker. You know? I'm a tinkerer. He's a tinkerer. Hey, just just trying to get a point across here. There's a lot of people that want to just still still. We see it every day. Ross, Heather, should I just sell my stuff sell my stuff in R V? I have five years to retire. I have ten I've heard I've heard someone tell me they have ten years to retire, then they're gonna R V. It's like are is and 15 years I've heard and in 15 years our RV is going to be called RVs and it's too long you're thinking too far don't think that far gosh I mean can you physically mentally and physically RV in 15 years when you retire well you might and you might not you might not be able to do that I honestly think that if it's if RVing is something that you want to do life is short get yourself an RV do it or rent an RV <laughs> and just go out for a little bit. Take try even if you have to go to a job and work. Take yourself out and go for a week or two. See if it's something. Rent that you an RV like. for crying out loud. Yeah. See if it's something that you like. See if it's something for you. Some people are okay with it, and some people just can't do it. It's too much work for them, and they'd rather just go to a hotel on vacation. Right. So I I do not think that full time RVing is something that you should just rush into. Right. I do not think so. Um, do I think that it's fun? Do I think that we have had a lot of adventures? I do. And I think that we have had a lot of really cool experiences. But for us, I think we are more settled because we have our property now. 
you know? Yeah, I just think more relaxed. We have our own city water. We know what's going on. We're still in the woods where it's not loud. Do we, we want to still go on vacations? Heck yeah. Uh, we're going to be going on vacation, guys. If you have a friend that's going to that's thinking about full-timing, share this video. Send it to them. It'll help them out a lot, right? Yep. Have a good one. Bye, guys. See ya. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.